My name's Imogen and I'm a teacher at Logsite Community Primary School. My name's Lisa Paul and I am a teacher at Unity Community Primary School. Hi, I'm Deborah Cox um, and I'm the curriculum lead for Big Life Schools in Manchester. Hi, my name is Syra. And my name is Charlene and we're from Birchfield Primary School. Hi, I'm Kate Martin. I'm from Christ the King Catholic College and Sixth Form. And Ellis, I'm from Gatica School. I'm an art teacher there. And I'm Lisa and I'm from Gatica School and I'm the community coordinator. Hi, I'm Katie Avery and I'm Head of History and Politics at West Kirby Grammar School. I think it was really important for me as a professional practitioner to be part of this because once I kind of was able to question and be confident on my stance in diversity um, within the curriculum then I think I, I'm at a better place to encourage others and um, to encourage, encourage others to kind of you know feel confident in their journey, their own journey. We've done a lot of work on trying to diversify our curriculum and make sure that our children see themselves reflected in the curriculum and particularly in history and geography to reflect uh, different life experiences and different aspects of history and this really fits with that. We have students from a predominantly white backgrounds yeah. so we felt it was really important to uh, engage those students with the history of the city and the uncomfortable history. Yes, yeah, I was going to say, it's, it's, it's a hard conversation to have, so um, being able to use art mm. as a sort of catalyst to have this conversation yeah. um, is going to be very interesting. It is, <laughs> and our students really respond as well to um, art projects. Some of them find it very really difficult to access parts of the curriculum sometimes that are maybe a little bit more academic. Yeah. Um, so like, I know from experience. Our kids love getting involved and stuff like this and then the teaching elements and the learning part. We got involved with the World Reimagine project um, to get children involved and become more aware of the surroundings um, and the cultural involvement. Um, we're developing a unit on the Industrial Revolution and slavery, we're doing a unit on immigration in Manchester through the ages and we hope that this will just add depth to that and help our children um, have a really high class and exciting and creative learning experience. I think it's the best training really that I've ever been to. Um, the content of it is perfect. I've got a better understanding um, of what to take back to school. Uh, I feel that we can share this knowledge and the ideas we've got from today with the rest of the staff. Really difficult, yeah. challenging. <laughs> um, I am anxious that I, it's a, it's a very safe space, but I'm anxious that um, I'm gonna sort of maybe say the wrong thing, yeah. um, which is really uncomfortable, but sort of that I understand the importance of how uncomfortable that is. Because I know you do feel like you, you feel like you could potentially be treading on eggshells. Yeah. And so for us to feel like this, yeah, it's going to be really, it could be really hard for the students yeah. as well. So being able to do this like within this session now is obviously going to give us the sort of the confidence of when we go back to school. Yeah. We should, hopefully we'll be able to feel a lot better when we're you know when we're yeah. working with the students on the yeah. project. So this morning I have already learnt it's it's only been short so far but I've learnt so much and really interesting and useful things that I can use in the classroom and I can develop to help support children's education and learning uh, through this this exciting project. The delivery that Keisha's given. Uh, Amazing. It's, it's, it's yeah. been fantastic. It's like we've just been having a, a big conversation yeah. rather than training. And just like the visual impact that like the, the piece of art is going to have and how that is going to physically become a conversation starter. So obviously we'll, you know, we're going to have those conversations and those talks with the students in order to create it. Yeah. But then 
when it's out there in the wider community for that to be able to be the conversation, you know, the conversation starter, you know, for the community and for the city, you know, with and then being able to, um, you know, for those people to then access the, you know, the follow-up information is going to be great. And so to be able to be a part of that, I think, is a really brilliant thing. Yeah, definitely. As an art teacher, um, it's really important to show um, cultural diversity in our work. So I think having the students doing a project like this um, could spark a lot more interest, give the students a lot more questions to ask and to bounce off each other and answer the questions to each other with guidance. Um, so I feel like it's going to be a really positive um, project to be involved uh, So the World Reimagined project I think is a really good opportunity um, to I think promote the work that we've done so far and just show our commitments to racial justice as a school um, and the contributions that our students you know have made and want to make and it's a topic that's hugely important to them you know they feel very strongly about it um, and I think that this is a, you know a superb way to showcase how far the city's come but also to focus on you know, the lasting legacy of the transatlantic slave trade and, and be honest about it.